What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're gonna be diving into the best of the best creators for After Effects. We're gonna be talking about all sorts of awesome motion graphics, animation, and VFX techniques. That way we can leave here inspired and take away some of these techniques into videos of our own. If this is your first time on the channel, I want you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Also, I wanna send a huge shout out to everyone who's already subscribed. You guys are helping us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are in no way in order of importance. They're just too dope to compare like that. But the final three are gonna be the ones that have inspired me the most. So make sure you guys stick around until the very end of this video so you don't miss out on that one. Anyways, I got the list here. Let's hop right into the top 10 crazy After Effects techniques. First up at number 10, here we have from Enigmatic E, an awesome use of AI in After Effects. So in this case, we see the person actually is able to create a mask and then inside of that mask is an AI generator generated image. And I'm thinking he's using EV Synth to composite on those AI generated frames to the video and make them match perfectly. Either way, this is an awesome effect and I love to see how After Effects and AI generation tools are getting used together to create some amazing work. Keep it up Enigmatic E and I hope to see more. Number nine on the list. Yo, this one is super sick. This one is from Spare Confidence 721 and he brings us this use of AI and After Effects. The AI being used is Mid Journey and he's creating these generated images which then he's porting into After Effects, adding some masks, adding some tools to animate them. So in this video, you're seeing a mixture of puppet pin tool, which will let you generate points on an image to create a mesh that can be animated. He's also using 3D camera space by separating the foreground and the background and then generating a 3D camera there. And then also there's some assets from Motion Array to create that volumetric lighting that you're seeing. And then aside from that, he's using an adjustment layer in After Effects with tint and curves effects so that he's able to create some really nice color compositing there. A really awesome work, spare confidence, and I hope to see more of your work. At number eight, here we have one from Annie Design, also known as Annie Chahan, and he creates this really beautiful looking gradient abstract animation called Glint. Now I was really curious how he was able to make this animation, and I'm glad to know that he's actually using Figma to create all the different style frames and these different shapes that then he can port into After Effects and animate. If you guys have never heard of Figma before, it is a really powerful and awesome tool for UX designers, but I'm glad to see it being used in this case for animations and motion design. A little fun fact, Figma is in talks to being bought out by Adobe for $20 billion. Even though I'm a little bit sad to see Figma getting bought out by Adobe, it's also pretty interesting that they're getting recognized for being such a powerful software. So guys, go ahead and get it while you can before it gets ported into something like the Creative Cloud Suite. Anyways, I love how you show your breakdown in the process and actually show us a tutorial so we can create this as well. There's a lot of great motion design techniques and tricks that you used in this video and it came out looking super awesome. I hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. Next at number seven, here we have from Substantial Strain 87, this really trippy animation that combines the use of Cinema 4D and After Effects. So all of those 3D effects that you're seeing there was generated in Cinema 4D and then the compositing end and the color correction was using After Effects to really bring this together. I love the way that these visual effects came out and I think this is really impressive. Kind of reminds me of Edward Ovi a bit except with your own little spin on it. Anyways, love your work and I hope to see more. At number six on the list, here we have from Burak Dennis an awesome looking water droplet effect built right into After Effects. The really cool thing about this is that this is not using any plugins at all and instead using effects that come with After Effects right out the gate. The water droplets are created using the radio waves effect and then the background water look is created using a turbulent display effect as well as a fractal noise. I love how fluid and dynamic this effect came out and I'm really interested to see what else you create using the built-in effects and after effects. Anyways, thanks for showing us your breakdown and I love your work a lot. Hope to see more. All right, we're about halfway through at number five. Here we have from Elden Stars, this super abstract animation that was created using CC ball action and after effects. I love the way that you included a breakdown for this because I personally do not use CC ball action too much and it's also pretty interesting to see 
how you can make an effect that is super trippy and abstract, kind of hard to pinpoint how exactly it was created. Anyways, love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Next up at number four, here we have one from Emoney Larusa, who we've shown on the channel before for having some really awesome animations using Illustrator and this one is no exception. This animation is inspired off the prompt of imagining your entire lifetime flashing before your eyes. So we have all these beautifully composed scenes and an awesome breakdown that shows how this was created. It looks like a lot of this was created using reference footage that she actually shot herself as well as using Illustrator to make these scenes and then using something like Trap Code Particular for the stars as well as shape layers to recreate this in After Effects before animating this with really nice spline motion animation. Anyways, I love this piece a lot and thanks for showing us a breakdown of your work. Hope you keep it up and excited to see more what you come up with. Okay, things are really heating up. These are the final three and number three on the list. Yo, okay. XYZ Burrito brings us this awesome augmented reality VFX scene in which he looks at his phone and there you can see there's all these sick effects. One of the cool details I love about this is that the phone actually pops out of his hand for a bit and even while it has all these amazing motion graphics and animations that are perfectly tracked on there, there's just a whole lot of really interesting stuff going on in this scene. Trigger warning though, if you guys are sensitive to flashing lights, you, you may not enjoy this one as much. So the way that this was created was using Mocha Pro and the 3D camera tracker. And I think the end result definitely came out looking awesome. All right, hope you keep it up, XYZ Burrito. On to the next one. Here we have at number two. Yo, okay, Grand Bertha freaking killed this animation with VFX and compositing. That was created for the Sea of Thieves game. So it looks like in the beginning of this scene here, he's playing the game on his television, which is motion tracked. And I can kind of tell that from the way that it looks when pulling out of the frame. But then one of these cannonballs flies past his face. So that's some really interesting 3D work because then afterwards it crashes into his wall and creates this really awesome debris and hole there. And then we even have his window or his door frame to his balcony, have a pirate come in and then he shoots him as well as an entire cannon that he gets to launch. And then another really awesome thing about this entire scene is that it loops perfectly, which is just freaking mind blowing. I love your work a lot, Grand Berta, and I hope to see more. And last but not least at number Number one, at Eddie Gates brings us this really awesome looking Mortal Kombat inspired animation. I love the retro graphics and the look of this, especially with the hard tones. Now, you guys know I'm a sucker for video game related VFX, and this one is no exception. Especially, I love the extra details to have in that title screen, the character select screen, and then the way that all of these animations come together to make them look like they were on some sort of old school Sega Genesis. Now, he says this was inspired by Tekken, and I can definitely see that with the use of these health bars at the top. If you guys are curious to make something like this on your own, there's actually a really awesome tutorial from Red Giant in which he breaks down how to get a similar look and effect. Anyways, I love the way that this came out and I hope to see more of your work. So those were some of the dopest creators that I've seen with inspiring works ranging from all sorts of awesome techniques. But if you guys are curious about seeing even more awesome techniques and creators, I guarantee you're going to want to check out this video because there is so much going on in it, especially if you're looking to be inspired and learn something new. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.